しアムステルこれガイドラミデイビッド・クレイパーは、子どもたちを連れて、今日の朝、ブシマンの森の中。But then, in the dark, do you see what's rising up there? At that time, someone sitting at a fire came up with a plan. Now look what happens. Watch what I do. The sparks rise up, and now the stars are fixed in the sky. Next morning, sunrise in the Karoo, a semi arid region in South Africa. Bushmen once lived here. Today, giant antennas are sweeping the skies. South Africa is part of the world's biggest radio astronomy project. The Square Kilometer Array, or SKA, is a global initiative involving more than 20 nations. Mike Volleben is a German member of the international scientific team probing the early universe. Our idea of the origins of the universe is that space and time began with the Big Bang some 15 billion years ago. But even with the largest telescope, we won't be able to see what came before the Big Bang. A special camera can help to see how the sky is systematically searched. The Square Kilometer Array is meant to provide insight into the so called Dark Ages, the period right after the Big Bang. The project is to cost 1.5 billion euros, take 10 years to build, and will be spread over three nations. Not impossible in an age of high tech global communication. Out in the desert, there are no mobile telephones, no radio. The large antennas are too sensitive. Mike Volleben and his colleague Lindsay Morgan are staying at the station for a week and conducting tests. The facility has been in operation for six months, but it's already produced the first images. These large dishes can be thought of as pixels in a digital camera. And just like in a digital camera, the more pixels you have, the better images you can make. And what we hope to do with SKA, which will have thousands of dishes, is make the best images possible with a radio telescope. All the data from the Karoo converges at the South African headquarters of the SKA project in Cape Town. Bernie Fanaroff is in charge here. A hundred scientists and engineers are already working on the radio telescope. Several things are in the development phase, and there's still no computer that can tackle the huge amounts of data of the SKA. But the project can help change entrenched perceptions of Africa. Africa up to now has not been perceived, either by Africans themselves or by the outside world, as a place where you can do cutting edge science and cutting edge technology. We have a big program of training students. We've had more than 350 students in our program. Many of them, over 50, have come from other African countries. And a lot of them have now gone back and started teaching astronomy for the first time in their own countries. If all goes to plan and the radio telescope is in operation on both continents by 2024, the SKA will be 50 times more sensitive than current facilities. The Square Kilometer Array is meant, above all, to answer one question that mankind has asked for centuries. The nature of the SKA means that it is such a sensitive instrument that it could possibly detect radio signals from other intelligent life in the universe. Up until now, our instruments would have to be directed straight at that source of radio waves in order to be able to detect them. But the sensitive nature of the SKA means that we could be looking at a different portion of the universe and still be able to detect the signal. We could then focus the entire array at that region and confirm whether or not that radio signal was possibly from an intelligent life form. The high tech project in the Karoo Desert has catapulted South Africa into the top 10 research nations for cutting edge astronomy. The South Africans are convinced that their desert is the right location for the SKA. The people of the Karoo region say it's so quiet at night that you can hear God thinking. <laughs>